Welcome back guys, back and welcome to another new campaign. Today we're going to be playing as the lovely Empire. Oh, there we are. So we've done a couple of Empire cam uh, campaigns. We've done Empire Carl Franz and we've done uh, Vokma. We've not done Balthazar Gelt, so that's the one we're going to be doing today. So he's a powerful lore of Metal Wizard. He can unlock a Flying Pegasus. Awesome. He's got plus 10 armor for all his forces. That's actually um, pretty handy, I think. Upkeep is minus 25% for Battle Wizards, which are, of course, the hero units. Uh, and Battle Wizard hero capacity is at plus one. And we're going to be playing on Legendary as well. Alrighty, let's get into it. of war never cease for the old world lies in great peril of mankind's nations. As gods battle for the world's fate, I make my own humble contribution. In the employ of the newly anointed Emperor. Even now, we make haste to the Emperor's ancestral capital. For the demented Rachnik Spider Claw leads an attack on Altdorf's walls. My charge is Karl Franz, the true wielder of Gal Maraz. But as he fights to secure his status as Emperor, Will his reign strengthen the nation? Or lead it to ruin? That is, of course, the standard uh, Empire One, of course, being led by the massive Carl Franz himself. I don't know why I called him massive, but yeah, there we go. Let's move on from that. Now, for those of you who have not watched um, any of my other Empire campaigns, I feel like I have to give a disclaimer. <laughs> that is that I completely suck at the Empire campaign. It's worse than the Bretonnia ones, guys. So the chances of us securing a victory in this campaign are pretty small, but hopefully you can enjoy the ride anyway. Watch me get my butt handed to me. Again and again and again. Yeah, I don't know what it is with the Empire campaign. I, I'm not really good at any of the standard, like, mini ones, right? The ones that are similar to the older games, or the similar than what they're obviously the Orcs and, you know, that type of thing is, Beastmen, etc. Right, defeat an army belonging to the Empire's successionists. Okay, let's have a look at our man. Of course, he's one of the original lords like uh, Archeon is as well, so his buffs are not going to be absolutely fantastic, but we'll go through them anyway. Uh, leadership. Leadership, okay. Melee defense plus three for spearmen, swordsmen, free company, and halberds. Up to plus 12 melee attack, plus 12 melee defense. That's actually not too bad. It's not too bad. Plus 12 ammo and plus 12% magic damage. Not too, Ah, missile damage, sorry. Not too bad. Again, that's horses and stuff. I don't worry about that one. Aura size, uh, leadership buff, charge bonus. Oh, there we go. Weapon strength for great swords, empire knights, knights of the blazing sun, right scud units. Charge bonus for those ones as well. Okay, missile damage for artillery and extra ammunition. Ward save for steam tanks and demigriff knights, 15%. Jeez, that's pretty good. 
Charge around is 10% for Steam Tax, Demigris, and Standard Ground, of course. Uh, this bottom line will be exactly the same as everybody else's, I would assume. Yep. All right, and there's Buffs, Searing Doom. Uh, the same spells, of course, we're using in the Chaos campaign. Uh, that one's pretty good. 4% armor piercing damage map wide. Hmm, that's actually pretty good. Extra 4% armor pin again. Uh, the armor pin damage will come pretty handy. Plague of Rust, of course, that minus 30 armor debuff. Very, very good. Uh, the Hounds, that's also pretty good. Uh, the debuff for the dudes. Yeah, okay, and then his stuff. Melee defense plus 5. Missile resist 25%. Enemy hero action success charts minus 10. Uh, basically the same thing again with the reduction in vampiric corruption. That's pretty good. Uh, melee attack 5. Hero recruit rank plus 1 for battle wizards. Battle wizard capacity. Greatly improved power recharge and stuff. He's actually got a lot of magic reg uh, regen, this guy. Um, just from the multiplayer stuff where I've used them. Um, mounts, Imperial Pegasus. Okay. Cooldowns, etc. Alrighty. Not too bad, not too bad. So we've got the, the diplomacy stuff again. Um... Can I put him on anywhere? I can put him on a treasurer or this one. So that gives us a buff of minus 10% upkeep for artillery, minus 10% construction. That's pretty decent. Or we can go treasure, which is um, increased trade by 25%. That's pretty massive. And income from all buildings plus 5%. I think we'll go that one. Of course, we can't go out the top because that's the emperor uh, that can do that one. So for our wind conditions, we need to control pretty much all the human lands, right? Reclaim Eastern and Western Sylvania and destroy the Vampire Counts. Destroy the Chaos as well. So Chaos Vampire Counts we need to destroy, basically. Chaos Vampire Counts? Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> that's what I said. Okay. Awesome. So we're probably going to try and do that through diplomacy, right? And just get like heaps of trade and stuff going. And that'll be like the base of our income and things. Let's have a look at our buildings. Alright, so we've got a port up and running, which is pretty cool. Uh, we've got the training fields, which is for spearmen. Swordsman and Free Company Militia. We'll upgrade it to this one probably, which gives us Flagellants. Uh, Spearmen with Swords. Halbergs, who are pretty good. Halberdiers, sorry. And the Crossbowmen, obviously, a very good unit as well. And then, obviously, Great Swords, Handgunners, and Empire Captain as well. So, Warrior Priest. I think this one we'll probably need. Give us an extra Wizzy Wizard, okay? And some artillery, of course. Uh, increased trade and all that type of stuff would be pretty awesome as well. Alright, let's upgrade this one. Because we're definitely going to get some of those uh, crossbowmen up and running into the army. So we've got a unit of great swords, a unit of spearmen. Sorry, swordsmen. A unit of spearmen, a unit of crossbowmen, a unit of outriders, and a mortar to start us off. And our initial, initial quest is to go and attack this dude. But if we attack him, he'll just back off, right? Surely. And that will leave us, will that leave us in his lands or in our own lands? There's not a lot of troops in that army anyway. Let's see. No, he didn't back off. Okay, that's good. That's good. We won't have to get him straight away. Uh, you're pretty confident we can take that. So let's fight this one. We won't do a roll on a 50 50. Yeah, we've got great swords. Basically, we've got the same army as him, except ours are slightly better because we've got the great swords and obviously the mortar. Um, and the pistol is should be able to do a decent amount of damage. And we should have Searing Doom, which is going to give us um, some nice magical damage at the start. Obviously, we don't want to be involved in melee combat with these guys because Balthazar is a wizard, not a melee fighter. So try and keep him out of that combat as much as we can. Let's start with that. Right, what's the range on our mortar? 380. Okay. That's pretty much max range where we are. That's awesome. Slightly forward. There we go. Great swords! I put them there. Yeah, we want to try and get as much like uh, range damage done um, as we can. These are uh, outriders. Okay, so we want to try and not get hit by that their range units, of course. And I'll put Balthazar forward a wee bit as well so we can get some casts off. Right, let's get into it. Skinish mode. And take the spearman, that'll be awesome. Yeah, what's the range on this? Just there. Okay, well, we can move forward a wee bit. Because then we can always run backwards, right? What's that aimed at? <laughs> Jesus, lads. You have to actually hit something, right? Yeah, it's a much bigger area. Drop it there and they're going to walk into it. Oh, it's actually a really fast cast. Oh, no, we're going to completely miss. Ah, oh, the AI dodged it. Goddamn AI. Being too clever. Oh, that's a bit silly. All right, let's back up. So getting a bit closer. 
Come on, Outriders. Do that damage, but stay out of range of those crossbowmen, please. We're doing decent damage versus this unit, actually. It's pretty good. Alright, what do we got? Nine seconds, we'll get another one. I don't want to be, um... I don't want them to dodge it again, that's all. Alright, crossbowmen, start shooting at those. It's a good bit of damage. I really just want to go and run these down now. I can't. Hopefully we can get there before they do too much damage to us. That was nice. You won't dodge that one. Oh, you did, actually. That's annoying. Right. Great swords can come around the flank. It's fine. Spearman versus Spearman. Swordsman versus Swordsman. Great swords are coming in there. Guys have intercepted that as well. That's awesome. We've got our range units here, of course he does not. These great swords should do a decent job versus these guys. Um, I kind of want to put him in combat, but it's never going to work too well, is it? Can you still see? You can't. Outright is not doing a massive amount of damage. I kind of need this guy to stop firing. Drop that on there. We just want a small circle. If the overcast it goes to much larger, we don't want to hit our own troops, of course. That's a good bit of damage. These guys are just not winning that fight, are they? Not at all. Right, can I bring him and stick him into this fight? Oh, these great swords are actually going to clean that up quite comfortably. You get into here. Oh, I suppose they've got the archer support as well. We'll drop this next one on this group. These guys are not going to hold on though, I don't think. Two. One. Shouldn't hit us, I wouldn't think. Or very little anyway. Good, just keep bombing them away. Okay, that unit's breaking. Kill this one off. These guys are not actually winning that engagement. Unbelievable. Right, start shooting into this unit's spearman if you can. That's that other side's all but broken. Yeah, I can't believe they're losing. Damn outriders. <laughs> I probably should have kept them at range. They do actually a lot of damage. 32 armor piercing damage is actually pretty good. So I maybe should have just kept them at range. Right, come on, great swords. Right, got another searing doom. It's actually really cheap. It's only five, just with the uh, non-overcast version. It does fairly decent damage as well, considering how much you can cast it. This guy should be fine. I really want these great swords to come over and help kill off this captain. These guys are going to come back in. There you go. Like half health, maybe. Uh, mortar can start. At oh, I should be mortaring this probably the whole time. Keep firing though. These guys are going to win here. That's good. This great sword should give us enough, uh, enough damage to kill off that guy as well. We're still going to start mortaring that. That's nice. Got him. See, that mortar's got 80... No, it was great swords. Only 18 kills. Jesus. Once it gets ranked and it gets more accurate, it'll be a lot better, of course. For now. Doing that great. Oh, come on, this should break him. What? Okay. Another one. Are you guys still shooting? You are. That's just about broken. Let's start shooting some of these that are coming back. Make them regret that decision. That unit broke. Nice. That one broke as well. Beautiful. Uh, can we start peppering this lord maybe? Or do we want to start shooting? No, we don't want to start shooting that. Everybody just get over here and try and bring down this lord now. Another one of those, see if we can completely route that unit. Oh, they're going to walk right into the mess of it. Nice. You guys can get back in. Yeah, I just need to be a wee bit careful because... Oh yeah. This doesn't have the best melee stats in the world here. I don't think we can shoot him either. I'm pretty confident we're going to win. We're going to need something like Empire Captains. Oh, Jesus Christ. Empire Captains or something to um, help us kill Lords and stuff. I can see that already. How much damage he sustained from that dude. Right, just stay out of it. See if I can bomb this guy to death. Not breaking, which is pretty unusual. 
come on. Telling me those three can't beat that one unit? Kidding? Right, that one broke, good. Army losses should hopefully start to kick in shortly. These great swords I think will actually win that fight in the end, but it's just going to take a wee bit of effort. Right, you guys can start bombing that. Crosswomen are still running after that. That broke, good. And broke, nice. Well, I'm okay with that start. You know, we're a wee bit hurt, but we got rid of that army. Oh, it might be killed off, though. And hopefully we're still going to be in our own land so we can just instantly recruit. Although we won't be able to get a lot of good stuff yet, but, you know. Start's good, right? Yeah, I'm definitely going to need some, some single target killing power. Not exactly sure where we're going to get that from. Mm, not yet, anyway. We definitely want to get up to like some captains and stuff because that'll obviously help us. They won't be able to match up against legendary lords at least, at least not at the start. But once they get you know equipment and some levels and stuff, they should be fine. Uh, we will take you know replenishment, please. Pick up the pace. Cool. Give us an extra thousand bucks, and we've got campaign movement range plus ten percent, and a follower of plus one experience for infantry units. Holy hell, that's really good. Capture Nox, you buy Grunberg, which is this place here. Grunberg, whatever. Uh, these guys are pretty good, free company militia, but. I think we just take Swordsman, rank 1 Swordsman. I'm pretty happy with that, I think. How big is this garrison? It's only 5. And he's only got 3 left. Mm, okay. I think we could. Oh, we should have done diplomacy first as well. Because we're going to just try and get friendly with everybody. Any you know, of the good factions, right? Get those um, trade agreements up and running. See if we can get a lot of money that way. Right, that other army actually ran away. So I'm just going to recruit another round. Spearmen are cheap. So be it. So we'll get some more swordsmen. Right, we'll do diplomacy this time. Right, tally, tally Blunt. Not aggression, thank you. And defensive alliance, maybe? No, okay. Sterling. Nope. Britannia. It's late in the Trade. Day for the no, not yet. Okay. I need to do a few more. And Kessler. Uh, all trade with them, really. They're so far away. Oh, they've accepted. Nice. Okay, we'll keep going. Uh, I'll just double check on all the ones. Norland, I don't think we've got a trade agreement with. Did we look at technologies? No, we didn't, did we? No, but Tony, we already tried, right? Marienburg. I will listen. Ostland. I will listen. Okay. Oh, we can't do technology yet anyway. That's why we didn't look at it. Okay, cool. Right, yeah, so we'll go and grab this next turn. Hopefully he doesn't get a um, another army up there. I don't know where that other army ran away. Ah, oh, now we've got now we've got it. Nice, nice, nice. Right, let's go grab this. I shall be victorious. Easy roll for us on that one. Yeah, I need to keep these guys out of melee. <laughs> they did not do very well in that melee combat, right? Right, we'll just occupy there. Get an extra grand from that quest. Awesome. Your burgeoning realm blows your eminence. Thank you. So now we need to loot, occupy, or raise two different settlements. Okay. So we want Helmgart, and we want that. And win the following battle, and we'll get a battle wizard. Okay, how many troops is there? Actually, go up there and see. Oh, the enemy forces, sorry. How storm, that's gonna be pretty hard. Reinforcements are expected. Okay. Is that for me? Yeah, that's gotta be for me, right? Surely. That's what reinforcements mean. Right, we'll grab our route march for him. We did pick up uh, that nice banner as well. Plus one for um, troops is so good time. to start us off. Oh, yeah, we can get some decent troops up now. Okay, especially those crossbowmen. Let's grab them. Wind two, Shaman, three, that gives us four. Yep, 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 yep. Awesome. And technologies too. So we can get leadership for Empire, uh, Empire Infantry plus five. Experience for Empire Infantry plus two. That's pretty good because that'll be plus three on anything we recruit. Hmm. I like that. Let's go. All right. I think we'll get full stack and go do that quest battle because then we can get um that wizard up. Should be pretty awesome. I can't remember how hard that fight is. I don't know if I need a full stack or not, but we'll just, we will do it anyway. 
Scale takers are gone. Oh, Sons of Sigma. Awesome. Uh, what have we got there? Growth and casual replenishment. Let's get rid of that. Uh, and let's hold off because we'll upgrade here first. Actually, what level is that? It's only level 1. Yeah, we'll get that up to level 2 then. The Empire. Right, how much are those Sons of Sigma? They're 120 bucks a turn versus 100 for a normal swordsman. We'll take them. Because they're unbreakable. So good. Got four of those. It's maybe enough. Uh, you probably want some more anti large or something. Description. Well, so those three. This. And then we'll go to the quest battle uh, next turn. Awesome. Oh, skill point. Uh, do we want to get that Searing Doom? Or do we want to go straight for buffing up our troops? I think going straight for buffing up our troops may be the best option at the moment. Of course, the um, Empire doesn't have the best infantry in the world, so if we could buff them up, that'd be awesome. Got to rely a lot more on our cavalry and our technologies and stuff once we actually get up to those levels. Right, so we'll go... Do we have to go round, or can we go back to... Oh, we can actually probably just teleport. Just have us time running forward and back, right? How much is it going to cost us, actually? If it's worth running over there or not? 500 bucks? It's a turn's worth. No, we'll teleport. It's only a turn's worth. Uh, it's in our favour. Ambush. I don't know if it's an ambush for us. The enemy failed to spot your ambush. Attack now and eliminate. Okay. It's our turn to ambush them. Awesome. I assume they're getting reinforced, right? Or else we're just massively overcommitted to this fight. I don't know. We'll see. We could take out the mortars and stuff. They could be quite deadly. And the Hellstorm uh, rocket battery could be pretty deadly as well. We've got a lot of troops, so we should be fine. I've got a lot of crossbowmen too. That's four units of crossbows. Uh, they're ambushing us. I think that's what that means. No, no, we're ambushing them. Okay. That makes it a wee bit easier, right? Let's just um, have a look at those Sterling's Revenge. A uh, Sigma Sun, sorry. Before we jump into the actual battle. It's so cool. Like, I mean, that's them, and that's a standard unit. It's so cool. I love all the regiments of Renowns, how they have their own, like, flair and stuff. It's so awesome. Uh, let's open up with the spears. Where's their, um, the range throat? Where's their artillery? Down that side. Right, you can get up there too. Mortar's probably not going to be very useful here. Honestly. Really? So many troops, though. Break all them, please. Good stuff. Todbringer's forces are coming. Is he coming to support me, or is he coming to attack? Not sure. Can't remember. 13 seconds. These guys are getting it. Can you get us around, please? Can you just stop firing, man, because you're just going to totally destroy us. Down. How's that mortar still firing? Come on. One's broken. Uh, finish off those, please, if you can. We've got heaps of infantry on the um, on the mortars and stuff, so we don't need particularly help there. Right, you come back and kill that one. To chase off that. You guys, get in there, please. Now, if I drop this, it's going to hurt us, so let's not do that. Now, can we start shooting these, mate? I'm sure they don't come back. They're gone. Okay, get on the back of this one. We've got a lovely surround going on. Right, start to collapse in these guys. Let's get these archers up. Here. I'm vaguely remembering this battle. I think they come from there, right? Yeah, I can't remember if they come for me or if they come for them. I just can't remember. Right, you guys back off, because you're not going to get that. Our infantry will win this fight, eventually. Just take us a wee while. Finish them off, we don't want them coming back, please. Actually, my archers are up here as well, my crossbowmen. Seems like a bit of a waste to be shooting them, but we will. Yeah, 
We're eventually going to win this. It's just it's going to be a bit of a slog fest for a little bit. A nice surround going on over here. This one's not as surrounded. Neither is this side actually, which is funny because it's the side we came from. Right, wrap those off, please. Just go run them down. Right, here's the enemy reinforcements. Okay. So let's form up with our range stuff firstly. Mortar can start shooting that way. I need to grab off a couple of units of infantry. So my sons. Actually, these guys have a one as well. Alright, let's start shooting in to get rid of their stuff. I've got a Searing Doom available as well. Can't quite cast it that far though. Just gonna try. Yeah, there we go. Mortar's awake. That broke. Awesome. Come over here. Start shooting these pistoliers. We'll give you some um, support from these guys. Should be able to take them down easy enough. You guys start shooting up into there. Yep, we've got mortars firing. It's good. Why are you charging us? I have no idea. Infantry's here. Let's drop a searing. Doom, go, 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 do damage. That's alright, was alright, wasn't fantastic, but you know. We'll live with it. Oh, these damn mortars need to stop firing at us again. Stop. Right, let's get the rest of these units up in there. How are we going versus them? We killed them, nice. Come on, get over here and stop this dude. Right, you guys back off. Go that way, and we may be... Yeah, he's turning anyway. Okay, 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 cool. Right, open up on him. Oh, it's going to hit me, I think. Sure is. Right, let's finish off that. That guy's going down. Yeah, we got it, boys. We got it easy peasy. This Lord's still alive. Oh, that one just broke as soon as I said that. Alright, can you come over and shoot the rest of these? And there's just that one Lord left, so let's just fast forward. Rather than spending all the time in this wee battle. That's good, though. We're going to get a, a free battle wizard out of that. I think you get a fire one, right? From memory. It's been a long time since we played the Empire campaign, but I'm pretty sure it's a fire, dude. It's weird not having like a really staunchy leader, right? Like somebody you can just like smash into the lines and don't have to worry about them. This dude's pretty, um, pretty squishy, but obviously he's very good with magic and stuff. Good work, boys. 117 kills on them. Yeah, they do a lot of damage. That 32 armor piercing damage is pretty damn good. And if we get that extra, um, did we get that buff, Balthazar? The one that gave us an extra 5% armor piercing damage map wide or whatever I think we did didn't we or do we go straight for the buff can't remember can't remember all right that's good though so we're going to get ourselves another wizard up which we need this dude's staff then because we're going to be using a lot of magic which is pretty awesome you don't get to use a lot of magic in the campaign stuff uh we will take we'll take the extra leadership thank you I go where the wind shall. Yes, we got a wizard. Uh, it's a celestial wizard. Okay, with nets and all types of good stuff. Right, so we're going to go down and get that. So let's actually just camp in town for now. How big is that garrison here, actually? It's not that fair. No massive, is it? All right, let's grab... We're going to need, like, obedience, and we're going to need income and stuff. And that. So we want a pub, income, and that probably in most of these provinces. Oh, we can get this up too. Oh, yeah, shit. We really should have built that here. And not have it there. That would have been the smarter thing to do, Sly. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter at this stage. We'll have to change that over, though. Right, we can merge um, some of these. Uh, merge the rank ones. Ready. Yep. And get this guy over and get him into the army. So he's got an army here, which is why I want to know how big our army was. 
What if I should just re recruit? It's going to be like three turns before these guys are healthy again. The Empire. Man, they are ranked two, though. I don't really want to kick them out. That will work. Just like that's fine. The nation right, and he did level as well. Alright, so we'll grab that one, which is the melee defense. Um, for our dude, it's only plus three. The next one's better. That gives us up to plus four, which is pretty good. Oh, did that say we had a hand weapon available? Yes. Not that we really want to get in melee combat anytime soon, but we do have one. Okay. And we don't have a quest at the moment. That's okay. Should we go try and kill this army first, or go down and get Helmgar? I think we go down and get Helmgar first, right? I, am I don't think he can stop this. Arc. Yep. Let's go. Let's go and try and secure our first province. Which then we can get a public order thingy up. Be at war with the Crooked Moon. And that's yes. easy enough to do, but do we really need to? I am ready. Are you? Right, so kick. Yeah, I know he's a rank two, but kick him it out anyway. Time. And that spearman can go. As you say, Scrab. This flagellant is actually have pretty high damage. And of course they're unbreakable. Let's grab one of them anyway. Well, I'm going to get some extra income up soon as well, which is good. Oh, he does have an army there. Okay. We're almost full stack though, right? Well, we are full stack, sorry. Anyway. Gamma, they're both wizards though. I will not oh, there's only 12 and... Not a lot. The bigger garrison's that one. Okay. So, can we hit him this turn? Yes, we can. At least start a siege up here. If we can't actually push right onto him. Ulrich will. If we can, we can actually get into the fight. Can I see your other army, please? Okay. Let's fight it. Auto resolve says we're about 40% chance of winning. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, there's lots of trees, though. <laughs> it's going to hurt our mortar a wee bit. He's got lots of anti large. We've got lots of. It's not anti-infantry, but infantry troops. And ours are ranked, so I can't see us losing. Free current militia do a lot of damage, of course. Uh, definitely gamble on that. We've got two spellcasters, man. Really? Nine? Can do better than that. Right, let's just put those all together. If we can, that's going to be a massive line of infantry. Right, so what did we get actually with this dude? Uh, melee attack, melee defense. Nice, nice. That's pretty good. Chuck that on like the great swords or something, eh? Uh, we want to keep these in their own group because I don't want them actually in the fight. Right, you guys can go forward. Put that on. Right, you get right up here, my man. Right, let's go. Let's bring these forward and let's start our infantry march. Oh, why aren't you guys locked? Give him some shots, my man. These guys are so clustered up. Ugh. I do want to cast that, but it's probably not worth it just yet. Right, back up. Alright, boys, let's go. I suppose it would help if I move them forward. <laughs> that would be a help, Sly. Yes, it would. Alright, start shooting into these. Why are you buggers not firing? Why do you just continually run forward when I tell you to fire? God damn. Committed suicide there, I think, swordsman, but it's okay. Right, great swords, come up. Right, you two can't see apparently, so find yourselves a lovely position where you can attack. There's like five units over here attacking one. That's not obviously the best thing in the world. Especially when there's gunners shooting at us. Let's buff up. Oh, we can do a lot actually. 
Oh no, it's just an extended range or something. What is it? Additional effect gives us 50% armor. Okay. Oh, sorry. Pause there. Uh, resume battle. Let's just buff. Buff that guy fighting the Lord. Bring you guys in. Not massive amounts of damage, but it's okay. It's okay. Doing alright versus that guy, actually. Oh, good hit mortar. Oh, great swords, you're really being wasted running all the way over there. I think we just got way too many numbers, right? I don't actually know who these guys are shooting at. Need some cav to slow them down. So my um, troops can actually catch up. Do that and not hit my own troops. Okay, we just not hitting mine, I think. Good. Archers are still doing well. These guys have one. Can you come back and help kill the Lord? I'll start firing at that dude. We want to get those guns down more than anything. We don't want that guy in combat. We already figured that out. Go and kill that. I need to get some cavalry or something up, eh? Buff that dude up. Are you actually shooting or not? No, you're not. Um, you shoot that guy. You back out here and maybe try and shoot into these guys a wee bit. I've got so many troops just running around the field. Go that way, yeah. Yeah, I need to get some fast units. Having all these infantry is not the best idea in the world, I don't think. Oh yeah, we're probably out of magic too. Surely these two can kill that one lord. Who's not attacking you? Okay. Um, you shoot into this group. I don't know if you can or not. My two wizzy wizards are coming. He doesn't have a lot of life left, so I'm going in our favour on that one. I'm actually peppering the side of that um, infantry there. That's good. Don't, don't hit my great swords. Fucking mortar, stop firing. Get over there and try and run them down. Give us a bit of extra support. Right? There we go, there we go, nice. Right, he's dead, let's start fighting these. These crossbowmen are getting a bit intercepted here. Can you have some support from your buddies? I think they're going to win that fight anyway. Considering my best infantry units way over here. They all broke, nice. Chase them down, they all broke, they all broke. Nice. Yeah, we want to get some cav or something up, eh? Give us an option to deal with range things rather than just trying to outrange them. Although, that fight in the forest is not ideal for us. Only 36 kills on them. That's a bit surprising. 80 on these, Jesus. I'm guessing they're not getting the buffs and stuff from our troop, uh, from our um, lord, though. Hmm. I wonder if these will overtake them. Maybe not with weapon damage, but with the other stuff, maybe. We'll see. Have a look after this, because I've only got that one, which is only a plus three melee attack and defense at the moment. I think they do get a damage buff too. Uh, obviously, we just want to occupy that because we want this territory. Indeed. Chance ambush, ten percent, nice. Doing's revenge, awesome. Plus twelve percent tax for the local problems. Plus one public order. Oh, some good stuff in there. Right, so that's already got this up. So what I really want there is gates. And I can leave that there. It is time. Alright, so he's at five now. So the next one is plus seven melee attack 
and melee defense. Oh, that first one was only melee defense. Okay, so now we get plus seven melee attack as well. Okay. So it takes them up to 41 41. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. They're way better than them now. Let us begin. Can't afford it? Okay. Yes. Uh, diplomacy. Let's have a look. See if anybody else wants to trade with us, maybe. Surely an agreement will be reached. Yep. Nice. That's an extra 50 bucks from him. Greetings, my countrymen. You coming? Quite for that one. Tanya. I am King Leon Kor. Of course, um, if we can get stuff to trade, Surely obviously the trade agreements are worth a hell of a lot more. No, no, not yet. Okay. Right, good. Now we want this. Feed a force belonging to the beastmen. Okay. Well, are they going to spawn in over this side of the world, or I don't know. Who knows? So, what have you got? Nine, and you've got a bit of garrison there, though, right? You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twenty-one. Okay. I am ready. Are you? Do not waste my potential. Oh, what did we get? Uh, Sterling's revenge. Okay. Armor piercing. Stalk and stuff. Yeah. I mean, they're good, but yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it just yet. That melee defense plus fifty. Jesus Christ! But these guys with the forty melee attack means they're gonna just gonna be hitting so much. Affirmative. Right. We wanna, yeah, we want to get over there and get that as as soon as we can. The problem with the uh, recruiting being in this town right here as if we lose it and it's kind of like a funneled thing right it's at the mouth of a pass right um that's going to get a lot of attention i would think so i need to be a wee bit careful but i think we may be all right what right and our dude leveled as well okay so what can he get prime mover damage uncomfortable buildings that would be all right additional eight percent chance of killing would be all right as well or do we go down the stuff Try and get like a. Th uh, I think the extra 15% income is probably worth more than anything else on that. And any extra banners or stuff. Uh, hero ambush chance, I suppose. Okay. Alright, let's go fight this one. No peace, just war. Basically the same. Oh no, he's got a lot more range and uh, these two pistoliers as well. the map it better be another bloody um price to stop nice that means our mortar might actually do something right we'll fight that one as well yeah mortar might actually get some kills this time it's up to level one come on it's cranking it boys it's been cranking it away <laughs> i probably want to get rid of this spearman as well i right, actually compare the stats of the spearman to the spearman with shields i'm pretty sure this, the shielded version is way better Let's have a quick look. So 27, 41, 25, 28, 50, 25. So more melee attack, a lot more melee defense, which is obviously important. And of course, they have the shields. Yeah, way better. Right, we'll put the great sh uh, swords in the middle this time. Hopefully, we can get some damage out of them. Is that my whole army? Ugh, what a donkey. That's my whole army. Why well, don't I have any large stuff on the flanks, you ask? I don't know. I do now. We got nine, just want to gamble on that. Let's get these guys up and running. Lock that in, our two lords. Still is. Mortar, can you hit from there? Not quite. Right. No, still not quite. Come on, mortar crew. It's a pretty big army, actually. So is ours, though. Moving now. Take the ground. Probably should we beat these, just because we have the armor piercing and they don't. But obviously if they get guns or stuff and support, it's not going to go too well for us. Oh, 
Oh, light him up, boys. Right, there's lots of crossbows and stuff shooting at your man. Back up. Come on, mortars. Take off, skirmish. Fire, lads. Fire. Thank you. Right, back up. Uh-huh. Go shoot him, maybe. All right, can you go shoot that? Can you shoot that gun? You can help shoot this. Right, infantry can go. Mortars are still firing. Please start firing at some of their range thingies. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a real good hit. Great swords seem to be the focus. We'd like to get a big cluster of them up if we could. There we go. Alright, don't hit my great swords, please. Oh, this great swords are getting wrecked. Puff them up, give them a hand. Start shooting up those. Why are those great swords getting so wrecked? Some swordsmen, a lord. So I guess it's the guns and stuff, right? Oh, can we shoot that gun, please? Right, I'm going to chuck these two lords in on top of that lord while my great swords are still there. Just got to keep a close eye on them and hopefully they don't get destroyed. Be careful. If we take any damage, we need to back him out quickly. Alright, back him out. Right, coming out, riders. Why are you guys in there? Back up. Yeah, this isn't going to last for our side. I need some more help. Over here, these guys aren't going to win particularly either. Now, those guys are getting bombarded, hopefully they can um, pick up a decent amount of damage. My two best units are just getting destroyed. Coming on the back, you stay there. Actually, why don't you come and help this guy? Can you stay there and attack him please? Right, we're winning here, so let's pull one of these down to give us a hand. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in there, lads. Aren't you crossbow and keep shooting the stuff that's over there? My crossbow men on this side are doing all right. The other side's not so flash. A good one that was a good one all right so these this guy ran after my lords it's kind of okay Should have to beat that. oh these guys aren't even fighting anything can you come down and help us out here going mortar where my pistol is gone Did they get destroyed i must have You guys winning that? You are. Okay, that's good. The Empire endures. 
You guys come over here, start shooting up some of this stuff so it doesn't come back. Alright, start to turn in our favour now. That's good. Still this issue with trying to kill off enemy lords. Uh, can you start shooting that guy, maybe? Oh, is this one? No, we've still got two units here. What are you talking about? Shoot that. There's my dudes over there too. Right, let's draw. Just stay in it. Oh, geez, all my front line just collapsed. Oh, where's my two lords? Oh, they're way back there. Okay. Yeah, fine, actually, get over there and help these guys. Back up. Swordsman, get in. Spearman, sorry, get in. I still think we've got it. It's got a bit hairy all of a sudden. Got ammo? No, you don't. Okay, it's fine then. Kill that guy off. Go kill that guy, please. Alright, some of this stuff's breaking. That's good. That broke, that broke, that broke. Everything broke. Yeah, it's just those lords, eh? We need to get, um, yeah, captains or something up. I guess because they heal the armor, we don't have a lot of armor piercing in the army at the moment. I get those, like, Sterling's Revenge and stuff. That'd be pretty good. I suppose. Give us some more armor piercing. I can't, um, can't believe how much damage those great swords took, though. Jesus. They just seem to have got annihilated. 173 kills on that, dude. Good work, man. Yeah, we could get some free company militia, maybe. I think it's only Sterling's Revenge that have the um, armor piercing, right? So we could grab those. Which would be okay. Just not getting a lot of kills out of these lords, eh, with the two casters. Yeah, I don't know. We lost that unit as well. Extra grand, that's good, though. And we'll occupy that. Fearful. Ah. Enemy hero success chance, plus 5%, minus 3 leadership. Mm. Plus 2 public order for local province, though, that's good. And a power stone with greatly increased thingies. And we've secured our first province and the Empire Successionists have been destroyed. Let's grab ourselves some public order. Oh, and this one came... Oh no, that's, sorry, that's the other one. What does this one come with? Growth and replenishment rate. Okay, get rid of that. What? Yes, yeah, so the standard version doesn't have armor piercing. I don't have anything actually that has armor piercing. But that one there does. I mean, these do. I think it may be worth getting him. And then just a unit of... We want to kick that out. Get two Shaman. units of these. Wind of Shaman, yeah, and that's I us. Win. Okay. Everywhere else is good. Okay, let's do a wee bit of diplomacy. Let's see if anybody else wants to trade with us or anything. Actually, they opened up a lot of new opportunities for trade. It's not like any of them are overly happy with us at the moment, though. Approach and make your offer. Make your proposal. It's late in the day. Nope. Okay. Right. So, what's our actual quest? The Green War. Oh, that's Crooked Moon money. Worry about that so much. And Beast Burn, which we can't even see at the moment. Okay, cool. Right, so now we really just want to um, confederate with all these buggers. Hopefully none of them declare war on us. Just get our trade and stuff up and running. Get our province really secure. That's what we want to do. Oh, that gave us a nice bit of income too. Nice. Thank you. Oh, there's a Beastman army. Okay. Oh, he's going to run away though, right? It's not going to take us on. It's got hardly any troops. I can't even get there anyway. Right, can you get into town at least and get some region going? Thank you. Right, so we want to get... Income. I need public order somewhere. 
Ideally, I want an Eldorf, though. Um, this one, we actually want gates here. Or better garrison, because we want to upgrade this. Knock that off. Upgrade that for the other income. Yep. That's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah, I want to get some tradey type buildings up and running as well. I'll take that one, thank you. 500 bucks. No, I'll take leadership. It'll give us that quest as well, which is awesome. Quest completion. Our beast have actually been obliterated. Nice. And we've got plus two experience for new recruits. That's good. Defeat a force belonging to any of the following enemies of them. So it's just Horchland. Yeah, failed. We weren't going to do that one anyway. Negative growth. That's a bit annoying. Another 10% chance for ambush, another 12% tax rate, income from trade, good. Physical resist 10%, income from trade 8%. Campaign movement 8%, oh my god, how many followers? Campaign line of sight 5%, Jesus, that was a lot of followers, holy hell. Right, now I want to get public order up here, I kind of have to. Because then it'll let me go up to that one. I, mean, I want stuff like this as well though, and obviously, you know, different units and stuff as well. But I have to get that up and running. And get that up too, actually. Right, and who leveled? Both of them. Right, let's look at all those banners and stuff. So what have you got? Campaign movement, 6%. That's good. Unit experience is good. Tax rate's good. Public order's good. Income from trade is good. Campaign movement, extra 8% is also good. Oh, so he... Did he get that thing automatically assigned to him? He did. Okay. Uh, skill points. This one. So now we've got plus 10... Uh, no, sorry, plus 12 melee attack and melee defense for our swordsmen and spearmen. Not using free company militia or help bergs at this stage we will be though uh, eventually and this do we want to get that extra income thank you all right so you've got ambush chance 10 percent and campaign on a site okay uh plus two public order yes please that's all we can really get for him yep okay that's all right yeah so we're going to try and get the public order. that's at plus one at the moment but five that's from our army so um, let's grab leadership for our um, troops. By the comet. Awesome. Uh, have another look at uh, these. He's got a bit Approach fairly friend, happy with us. And make your... In the north. They should be. It's not like we're Approach causing any trouble your... around the world. Eh? They want to confederate at some stage too. Nice. Usually only when they're in trouble, right? Come on, trade with me. My countrymen. You come, in. come on. Hello, Dowie. Ask your favor. Greetings, my countrymen. You come in peace. I do come in peace. Thank you for I asking. Listen. Right, one more. You may speak before. No, okay. Alrighty, um. Nothing else particularly we want to do at the moment, I think. I'm sure some of these guys are going to attack me at some stage. I don't know, do we really just go and start attacking the vampire counts? It seems a bit early for that rubbish, doesn't it? Turn 11. And better, we'll eliminate a law belonging to... enemies of Avonheim, which is just sterling. No, no, they're just about to confederate with us, so we don't want to do that. Um, does this get gates up yet? Yes, there. So it makes how good's that garrison? Uh, it's not fantastic. It's not terrible. But it's not fantastic. No. Right, can we get you up? No, we can't in one turn. Okay. Let's have diplomacy with these guys. Non aggression. It's okay at the moment. It is time. I want to go sit in Aldorf, but okay. Just hit that again. We just, we're surrounded by allies and people you want to be friends with. That's the only problem. Raise an army. Uh, let's go. So no, we don't want to spend heaps of money redoing that. No, not at all. Right, let's grab that up, please. Uh, we can't make it the out. Uh, 
Is it worth just staying where we are or moving? Mm, move over there, I think. I've got a pretty good army, I have to say. Well, I think so. Anyway, at this stage. Yeah, I just don't really know what to do next. Because, I, like I said, I want to confederate with all these guys. Um, if I can. Rather than taking them over by force. And just get lots of money from like trade agreements and stuff. Right, so you need to get that up as well. Get yourself some extra garrison points. Looks like public orders kind of sort itself out now. Only five of that's from military presence. So that's good. Right, let's have one more chat to these guys. By Sigma's will, come in peace. We're getting close. Not quite there yet, but we're getting close. Greetings, my countrymen. Right, they want to confederate because they're at war with somebody else. So we may do. He's only got the one settlement anyway. Um, is that going to give us a negative public order? Probably. Don't want military alliance just yet. Not military access though. Okay, what about defensive alliance? No. Uh, did we do Wissenland? I think we did. Greetings on behalf of the Empire. No. Yeah, they didn't want to. Okay. Right, anybody else to trade with? Okay, ignore them, they won't. Your proposal. Yes, anyway. We got six, ten, twenty. Still they want to confederate. Greetings let's, on behalf of the Empire. Now what brings you here with Let's do it. Right, do we have a penalty for... Yes, we do. Okay. Yeah, that's obviously a border because we confederated with them. Right, so what have you got in the way of armies and stuff? Yes, my lord. Just that one? Let's double check. Oh, you're being seized up over here by the vampire counts. Okay, that, um, that makes course. complete sense why you'd want to confederate. The Empire. On Let's bring these guys over just to stop this. Not likely. Sigma compels us. What? I'll probably attack that. Can we not attack that with that? Okay. Do not waste my potential. Alright, double check, make sure they don't have any other armies. No, they do not. Um, I'm not gonna keep his army, of course, or him. Actually, what level is he? He's only two. He's only taken root much, so we might keep him. Alright, scare these guys away before we do anything else. Yep, good. somewhere all right uh, I'd like to steal that unit of Hellburgs actually and that's probably yes, it that I, I want from that just because they're good uh, for one of our spearmen please right, now which of these units are costing us a lot of money not the spearmen not the crossbowmen what does the Emperor bid so we don't want to be a negative income thank you very much I will marshal the bed that should be alright. So. It's minus nine even with um, us being there. Oh, because we've got that minus eight. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're minus seven back there as well, right? So we want to get home and just stop a rebellion from happening or defeat a rebellion if it does actually happen until this goes away for another four turns. All right. But that may have opened up some extra trade opportunities. She made it worse. Approach and make your offer. But I... It's so annoying that um, penalty for confederating. It's like at the point where it's just totally not make worth doing, eh? Oh. Yeah, we'll get him back in here and um, yeah, protect this our home province from being um, attacked or you know rebelled against. As we were almost out of the, out of the um, dumps there, but yeah, obviously that confederation put us back in. It's going to be rebellion next turn, but we're going to get home. It, it is best to move. The Thank you, and that's going to make it plus one. So there's still going to be a rebellion here though, because it's at minus eleven at the stage. All right, let's knock that off anyway. We'll keep this because it's wine for trade, so that's all right. All right, cool. All right, this will be the last turn, boys. If anything interesting happens, I will hear your petition, these Von Karstones. 
We have to clear borders. Okay. That is fine. Nope, nothing happened, no messages or anything. Okay, alright guys, that's where we're going to wrap up this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.